Hi and welcome to another one of my guitar lessons. I'm going to go back to the acoustic guitar and and learn a, a great song by, by Lightning Hopkins, one that was suggested to me by one of my subscribers. The song is called Long Way From Texas and this is a tune that is really interesting. A lot of the Lightning stuff that I've played before and, and the couple songs I've taught have been in the key of E and that's usually the key that's associated with lightning, although he does play in other keys. This is an example of a Lightning Hopkins tune in, in the key of A. And not only does he play in the key of A, but if you listen to the recording, the version that's on YouTube, you hear that he has tuned his guitar down to, to match his voice, I suppose. And so when you play this tune, starting out, the first thing you've got to do if you want to play along with the recording, you don't have to, but this is to learn the song. It made it a lot easier. So what I did is I took my low E, my sixth string, and I tuned that to an to a D, as in dog. I took my A and tuned that to a G. And then I took my D string and tuned that to a C. Took my G string, tuned that to an F. Took my B string, tuned that to an A, and then my high E, my first string, I also turned that to a D. So you've got this. So let me just play an E chord. And so that is the tuning. If you listen to some of these recordings, these old blues recordings, you might get frustrated because you can't match your, your tuning to what you hear on the record. And it's either a capo involved or they have tuned the guitar differently. And so you have to be alert to those kinds of things. Now the tune, Long Way From Texas, is really a pretty simple tune. And it's in the key of A, and there's really only three chords, A, D, and E. And what I'm going to do to get started is try to show you these chord positions that the song is based on. And then I'm going to build the riffs that he plays out of each chord position and then we're going to go to the song and learn the song verse by verse. There's only four or five verses plus a solo or including a solo so it's really not a, a long song but there's a lot of stuff and so let's get started. The song is in the key of A. Now if you've played any Lightning Hopkins stuff or Mance Lipscomb stuff the A a lot of times is this long A chord. <laughs> So if you're new to this, what I'm doing is taking my first finger and fretting at the second fret, the first through fourth strings. My bass is my open fifth string. Then I'm taking my pinky and putting it on the first string at the fifth fret. And that is an A. I call it a long A. That's what it's called. Now he's also going to use an A7, which is simply taking the pinky off and putting down the second or third finger. I like the third finger most of the time. Same deal with the bass, your open fifth string. And so my first finger doesn't change. I just take my pinky off, put down my ring finger. And there is an A seventh. Now the bass runs that you'll hear throughout the song, a lot of these are based out of the, the key of A. And the treble runs that you're going to hear. And I'm going to show you just right off the bat before we get into the tune. He's going to do, you'll hear a lot of stuff like this throughout the song. And all those riffs, all that is based on that A shape, that A chord. And so when we start breaking down the song verse by verse, I'll show you in particular you know, what he's doing. But basically you have a scale here, or a position. Where you're playing these blues runs in A. So it's up here on the second fret of the third string. And then the first and third frets of the second string. Open first string. Third fret of the first string. I hit one, one clunker in there, but that's it. And then he's also 
sliding here to that double stop and some single string runs based on that double stop. So this position is my first finger is on the third fret of the first string. My ring finger is on the fifth fret of the second string and you slide into it for the double stop. Now at the same time you're hitting the bass, the monotonic bass. If you're new to this then pretty much as you play the chords and as you play the runs you're keeping a steady thumping single note or monotonic bass going throughout the song. So let me play the double stop. I'm also muting the bass with my right hand palm, just gently setting it on the strings up here by the bridge. Now the single string runs just over that double stop plus I'm getting the fifth fret of the first string and then back to that third fret of the second string first fret and that second fret of the third string we come back to that a lot and you'll hear it licks like this just out of a few simple notes in that basically from the first down to the fifth fret. So that's all in the key of A and that's all played over the A. So what I would do is if you're just learning this for the first time you probably want to practice some monotonic bass. I have a video on beginners monotonic bass or you can check out some others on YouTube and get the hang of that. So with the chords a lot of times you're playing this thumping that bass in the background. Now in some points of the song it's not steady all the way through, but for most of the song it is. So that's our one chord, our A. Now the second chord that he uses is a kind of an unusual D seventh type chord. And instead of playing something like this, Lightning and guys like Mance Lipscomb and Robert Johnson, when they go to that four chord, they play this chord. is I'm taking my thumb and wrapping it around the neck on the second fret of the sixth string. That's my bass and sometimes he'll take his thumb off. Listen for that in the song and you get this kind of rhythmic bass line. Then my first and second fingers, my first finger is going on the first fret of the second string and my second finger is going on the second fret of the third string and I've got the first string open. Like a D minor. Basically is a, a D minor type thing. But he plays that as the four chord. When we get to the song, I'll show you how he does the rhythms with it. So learn that chord. Thumb, second fret, sixth string, first finger, second finger. Make sure you can play it. With the monotonic bass. And then the last chord, which is an E7th, he just plays sparingly. And you'll hear him do some licks like this. But the, the shape that I'm using got my first finger on the first fret of the third string. My second finger is getting both the second, the fifth, and the fourth strings at the second fret. And then my pinky is going to get the third fret of the second string. And then my bass is the open sixth string, which is actually a D, but we're going to call it the E since that's what we're all used to. really the, the, the chords that you need for the song. Now from this point on we're gonna go in and we're gonna practice the introduction. There's an introduction, 
there's a couple verses in the solo, another verse, and then he's got a nice little end tag that he throws in at the end. And we're going to take a look at all of those one by one.